Fishing is the heartbeat of Alulasat, a town 300 kilometres inside the Arctic Circle. The most profitable species to land is halibut, but the waters have warmed and the fish being caught here are getting smaller. The local fishermen told us back in 2006 they were worried. Catch uh, halibut uh, up to the size of 10 to 15 kilos, and now we are talking uh, about two to maximum five kilos. 13 years on, everyone's talking about it. Another worrying change, which everyone notices, is the absence of sea ice in October. In times past, these waters would be frozen by now for the winter, and the sled dogs would replace the boats. These two 12-year-old girls are preparing for their first sledding this winter. The snows have yet to fall, but they still plan to scoot across the frozen landscape. So, how did it feel? Earlier this year, the first ever survey of Greenlandic attitudes to climate change was undertaken, including in Alulasat where evidence of global warming is everywhere. The results were startling. 46% of the population in the Lulisat think that climate change is naturally caused, whereas about 42% think that it is caused by human activity. We went to the local school to find out more, given they can see the shrinking icebergs from their playground. I don't think we speak openly about it or we don't include it enough in our school, mm -hmm. in every school in Greenland. We showed the students the news reports of climate school strikes around Ireland. It became clear from early on that this was going to They were impressed. There haven't been protests in Greenland. I hope we can work together some day somehow and yeah, for the future. Yet for the fishermen hunting the halibut, an ice-free harbour has benefits as they can fish all year round. They notice climate change, but don't fear it. With no sea ice, the sled dogs of Alulasat are tethered for longer and longer each year. They wait now for the snows to fall. But the climate is changing rapidly in Alulasat, and they, like the people, face an uncertain future. Paul Cunningham, RTE News, Greenland.